you won't believe it guys, but guess what? I'm freaking jamming some Call of Duty Ghosts, but not only that boys and girls, you probably believe that part. We are playing private match and we're hitting some non-setup smokers, which is something I don't normally do on this game. Simply because I've never worked out how to actually disable enemy weapons on this game, and only today, after years guys, I've finally worked out how to do it. So it's pretty cool, so you guys may see right now, all these classes here are disabled, but in the default loadouts you may notice all the bots are going to be running around with the combat knife here, and I'm going to be using this class here, which is my trickshot class. So I'm going to be running the Lynx with FMJ and the Magnum, of course, just because this class is probably the best class in terms of just going for some crazy, crazy combos. So yeah, it should be good fun, guys. Like, I can't believe it took me this long to work out how to actually disable all the enemy weapons. Now, I do quickly want to mention in the kill feed, you're probably thinking, what do you mean you disabled all enemy weapons? There's freaking other people killing and shit like that. That's because I've got two friends that have joined my session. So they're just currently clearing out along with me to get to last. Now, I should quickly address the topless situation before we get to last and I start trickshotting. Now, the whole topless situation, yes, I understand a lot of you guys hate watching me trickshot topless because you may feel a little gay, you know, watching a topless man freaking trickshot on Call of Duty. But hey, what can you do? It's currently 34 degrees in my bedroom according to my new fan for Christmas. Yes, my new fan freaking tells me the temperature of my room. It's pretty fancy. And yes, it's probably the only fan that I'm ever going to get. Ha, 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 you're funny, Inky. But in all seriousness, guys, here in Australia in the past couple of days, we have had a crazy heat wave hit us. Like, every day has been at least 32 degrees. Like, two days ago, guys, it was freaking 38 degrees. And over these days, like, my room's just been heating up more and more the hotter it gets. And because of that, my room is now currently a crazy freaking sauna. And I don't want to be trick showing whilst I'm freaking sweating because I normally hit trick shots when I'm having fun, I'm chilling, and I'm just feeling comfortable. If I'm grinding or just sweating my ass, off, there is no chance of me hitting a trick shot. The funny thing about this whole topless kind of scenario, there's always one bloke that randomly comments like applauding me for being topless. If you guys can find this bloke in the comment section, please like his comment because I want him to get top comment. Let's just all hope that he's one of the first people to comment on this video. That way, you know, he's more likely to get top comment because it's pretty funny. He always like makes up like a little kind of meme about me being topless or a little story thing each time. It's so funny. Like no one ever likes his comment. All he gets from his comments is people replying to his comment basically bagging, bagging him out for being gay. Have I mentioned guys, but Call of Duty Ghost is freaking just a biller game. I freaking love it. Like a lot of you OGs will probably know, I have hit so many dongers on this game, but for you new subscribers I have hit at least 30 to maybe even 40 online like non-set up crazy insane trick shots on this game. Like I've just hit so many smokers that I've lost count. Like I've hit clips in 720p, I've hit clips in 480p, like back in the days my laptop couldn't handle 720p and yeah I've just hit freaking everything like even on this map guys I swear I've hit like at least 10 shots on this map alone and probably like 10 to 15 hit markers like I've hit marked a shit ton of clips on this game speaking about online clips guys my previous upload I uploaded around with Inky it was episode 17 and I managed to hit a non setup smoker and flooded and not only that I freaking called it out now if you guys that haven't seen it I might actually show you guys the raw footage oh, uh, um, like, like MWR or something soon. <laughs> Did you just say? Oh, you hit! You hit! No way! You, yeah, you called it! Oh, no way! Shut up! No, you didn't! Oh my god, there's no way. Did you call it? Now obviously in that clip that I just showed you guys, you didn't see my webcam and me calling it out. But basically I want to keep that a secret. So if you guys haven't seen it, please click on the first link down in the description because I want you guys to go watch it. It's pretty dong up. First attempt, like first freaking everything, called it out. It's freaking beautiful. I'm telling you guys, Call of Duty Ghost is my game. It's very similar to Modern Warfare 3 for you guys that haven't trickshotted on this game, but it's a lot better. Like it's very simple for trickshotting. But there's just so many different creative combos that you can actually go for. Like this one here, guys. You guys will love this combo. Hold up. I'll get to the trick shot spot. Well, just any high spot. So what you want to do, you want to keep one bullet in your Magnum. You want to get the cam swap with the links. Then you basically fast swap. So it cam swaps and it reloads with the Magnum. Then dong up. Such a clean variation. I've never hit it online, but I've wanted to hit it for so, so long. Whilst we're getting the last two, guys, I've actually got a story I quickly want to share with you guys. And this story is a very frustrating topic to talk about. So you guys know 
recently I have been on holidays and I only got back maybe a couple days ago and because of that I have not been working for a very very long period of time. So I had my very first shift back the other day, two nights ago from now. And on my very first shift you guys won't believe what happened. I managed to get robbed. Some bloke came into the back of our store and stole my phone and wallet. And then he freaking dipped man like a little girl. Now I didn't physically you know see him take my stuff but the girl I was working with did and she screamed her head off. And she was so frightened like I came running to the back you know asking what happened what happened but because she was so frightened like she was in shock like she was full having anxiety she couldn't tell me what happened it took her like 30 seconds to a minute to finally say a guy's in the store and he's ran off so once I heard the news I went in the office and realized my phone and wallet was gone and we did actually get the camera footage of all this stuff so if I can manage to get it off the police I will show you guys in a in a YouTube video but basically when I realized my stuff was gone you just see me bolt out the back door like I was on a mission I don't know if this bloke had a weapon like a gun or a knife but when you realize like $650 worth of your belongings have been stolen, you get this crazy, crazy adrenaline rush going through your body. Like I was on a mission. I ran out this back door. I was going to freaking hunt this guy down and just freaking drop him. Like I was so pissed, guys. But like I said, if I can get the camera footage, I'll go more in depth and talk to you guys about it. But basically at the moment, I've got no phone, I've got no wallet, I've got freaking nothing. The worst thing about this, guys, like not having a phone, you don't understand like how much you use your phone. Like these days, it's just so boring. Like for example, normally when I go to bed, just, well, just before I go to bed, I'm always watching YouTube. Now I can't even do that. The same goes for like when I eat lunch. Like normally when I eat lunch, I always watch YouTube. But these days, guys, there's nothing to freaking do. I eat lunch in silence. Are you really, really hot? Because uh -uh. I'm really, really hot. So yeah, you may notice it's pretty boring. It's literally what I do because I'm not like a big fan of TV. Like I do like, you know, my movies and stuff here and there, but very rarely, like I barely watch TV. So nowadays when I'm eating lunch, I'm sitting there like a stunned mullet. Anyways, guys, more importantly, we're at last. I've lost me knife, but I guess I've just got to utilize what I've got here. So, okay, we're getting dropped. Alrighty, guys, let's see what we can hit. So this tree here, I've always wanted to hit a smoker from here online. Like, I swear to God, I have had at least like 500 to 1,000 attempts from this tree online. I've never managed to hit it. I do know FaZe Rug has hit it, and that's what kind of like motivated me to hit it. Okay, we got a bloke on the left. You know what? I'm just going to freaking go for it. <gasps> Dude. Ooh, it could have hit, but I kind of think I, I think I shot it like a little late. This tree stump here, and by the way, talking about all these spots, guys, this is what I love about Call of Duty Ghosts. Like, there's just so many trick shot spots that you can actually trick shot from. It's freaking unreal. Like this spot here, by the way, guys, that's stump. I got a 1080 hit marker off of it not too long ago, maybe two months ago. I 1080 off that part right there, and I freaking hit marked a bloke out there. Here, I actually got a hit marker off this building the other day, as you guys would have seen. Like, I swear to God, I've hit like every freaking freaking like donger on this game and I think that's simply because in this game guys for you fellas that may not realize already there's a game mode called search and rescue and basically it's like s d but you just get way more attempts like I swear to god guys like every game I get like at least 10 to 15 attempts we're on in like search and destroy you only get like you're lucky to get one attempt a game or around but on this like I said in search and rescue dude you go off with the attempts like it's non-stop just attempts over and over and over again and that's the reason why I think 
I hit so many clips on this game. Like, there's so many people out there that just, you know, kind of follow the bandwagon of Phase Apex and this bot's freaking chasing me. Dude, I just gotta freaking go for some. I don't have time to think. Imagine, dude, hitting that, like, over the blue wall. That would have been insane. But like I was saying, guys, I think a lot of people follow, like, you know, the Phase Apex bandwagon. And for you fellas that don't know what that is, basically, he always talk trash on this game. I don't know why, because it is a really fun game, but he always talk trash on it. And because of that, no one really bothered playing it. Like, there's so many people out there that just, you know, have never really given this game a freaking good hot crack. Right, boys and girls, we're in the phase rug tree again now. Hopefully, a bloke goes out there, and that's where I can bill him, because that's where the kid was when... <gasps> there's, a... there's two kids there. That's where the kid was. Oh, dude, I freak... <sighs> Even just this combo here, guys, the shoot, throw, the throwing knife, trophy system. Oh, it's such a clean combo. <clears throat> you guys will love this combo here. Are we ready, boys? What the frick am I doing? Bang. Oh, dude, just imagine. You can actually wall bang that truck. A lot of people don't realize that you can, but trust me, you freaking can. Now, whilst you guys are here and you're listening up to me about what I've got to say and stuff like that, I might actually talk to you guys about my new series, my Road to a Kill Cam series. So I did upload my very first episode a couple days ago. It was on this game, actually. It was in Hardcore Search and Rescue on Freight. The only problem is... I'm not really a big fan of Hardcore SNR, but like my first game of playing Hardcore SNR, someone in my party did manage to hit that nom setup online smoker. Now, I didn't quite know if you guys would enjoy Road to a Kill Cams. Obviously, back in the day, everyone enjoyed Phase Apex's r but I wasn't too sure how you would take my series. But you guys seemed to really, really enjoy it, which I honestly did not expect. Like, it was such a surprise. Like, I had so many comments, like so many likes. Like, you guys loved it. So for my next episode, I'm thinking about uploading a Modern Warfare Remastered episode, but what I want to ask you guys right now, would you guys rather me upload another Call of Duty Ghost R attack for my second episode, or would you rather the Modern Warfare Remastered episode? Now, the only problem with the Modern Warfare Remastered episode is simply, it's very difficult to get attempts on that game, so I think it's going to be much more difficult to actually try and record for an R attack, because obviously it's much more harder to hit on that game, well, in my opinion, than on this game, simply because on this game, like I said earlier, you just get like way way more attempts. But yeah, just let me know down in the comment section, guys, what would you rather see? Another Ghost R attack or another Modern Warfare Remastered R attack? Bang. Ah, oh, frick. Why didn't I have a sniper out? That would have been nuts. Bang. Oh, just imagine, dude. I want to call it out so badly. Remember, like, back in the days, guys, so many people went for this combo. I can't exactly remember how you do it, but you do something like this. You throw in... Oh, that's how you do it. Yes, dude. I kind of did it. I didn't time it. Oh, frick, I died. But basically, like, you throw your throwing knife at the ground, then you, like, pick it up mid-shot, and then you utilize it by, like, doing a knife cancel or something like that. It's, it's a pretty snazzy combo. I don't know why I used the word snazzy. I don't know how that got in my vocabulary, but I'm very sorry. Alrighty, let's try this again, boys. So you throw your knife... Frick, you missed your knife. Ah, that was a pretty big fail. Righty, take two. Let's do this, boys. Throw it. Bang, bang. Okay, we kind of timed that too. Imagine if I hit that, like, over the blue wall. That would have been nuts. You see this tree, guys? I'm guessing none of you guys know about this tree. But guess what? You can get into the top of this tree. I've always wanted to hit a donger from here. Like, I've always... I used to try and hit, like, a TDM clip from here. Like, way back, I used to jam... T you know what? Frick the tree. I'm getting out of it. There's a freaking bot under me. But basically, you can get on this branch here. And, yeah, you can just hit some crazy suicides. What's the chance? of me hitting this. I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh, dude. Oh, shit. Gravzon's hit a donger. Live for you guys. For your enjoyment, for the player's satisfaction, Gravzine has came in the game. Holy shit. Who did he hit? I reckon he's build a kid under ladder through the blue wall. That was a freaking smoker. Good shit, Gravzine. His link will be down in the description if maybe you guys want to subscribe to him because he's pretty good at Modern Warfare Remastered. He's hit some crazy smokers. I just got the most insane cross map hit marker on no, minuscule health. You are joking. No, you didn't.
Did someone say Donga? Donga. Great right, guys, so sorry for cutting the video up here very abruptly, but basically I've been grinding Call of Duty Ghosts in private match now for a solid three days, and I'm not kidding you guys, I have literally hit nothing insane other than that friendly fire shot. I also hit that ladder stall on prison break that you guys would have seen, but obviously it wasn't that distance, but I guess I did also get that crazy cross map hit marker and storm front. But the reason I'm doing this little commentary kind of outro thing right now is basically saying sorry, like I grinded for a shot, I just can't hit anything, and I want to try and be consistent with my uploads. And I feel as though if I kept grinding, I may never hit a shot for you guys. I don't know what it is with Call of Duty Ghosts, but I've been timing my shots so nicely, and I'm just getting like ridiculous Dude. Like, I swear I've never been this dude before on a Call of Duty game before. Like, this is just freaking ridiculous. Like, I have had at least, at least, like, 10,000 attempts, and I've hit nothing but barrel stuffs and shit like that. But anyways, I guess it happens. It's trick shining, you know? It's complete randomness, so you never really know when your no-scope's actually gonna connect. Sometimes it can be first attempt, sometimes it can just never happen. But anyways, whilst you guys are here, I might actually talk to you guys about a little something. So here, you guys can see my new graphics card. I might actually pick it up. I just want to be super careful. Oh shit, I want to be really careful with it because I believe you can't really, you know, kind of touch all the stuff in the back here, but basically this is my new graphics card that I got for Christmas. The problem is I can't install it because when I install it, my boat, well, both my monitors back here, both black screen. So if you guys know how to fix that issue, please let me know. So obviously I can't use that at the moment, but not only that guys, I also got my Astro A40s for Christmas. So these ones on my head right now, super, super comfy, but I also can't use this Christmas present either, along with my graphics card. Simply because I can't record my audio, the chat audio, and the game audio all at once, unless I buy a separate cable. But because my wallet was stolen, I've had to disable my credit card, so obviously I can't use my credit card to go purchase this new cable over the internet. Which means for now, obviously I can't use these A40s, but as soon as I get my credit card activated again, trust me, I'll be purchasing that new cable. Then of course, I can start using my new Astro A40s. So for now, I'm just being original, you know, got my kind of old setup in the background using my old headset and shit like that, my old graphics card. But once I get everything sorted, I'll be using my new A40s, my new graphics card, it'll be awesome fun. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. So I should mention two real quick, actually, guys. I'm going to be working like the next eight days, I believe, because I'm trying to get the money back for what I lost. So that may mean I won't be super consistent with my uploads because I'm working like nine hour shifts like every day. So it's going to be pretty full on, but I'll see what I can do for you guys. Anyways, we're going to wrap it up here. Have a good day, guys. See you later. Donga. Yeah.